It's a familiar rivalry in the NBA and in the Boston Globe today, Bob Ryan, one of the better basketball writers in the country, had this story on Danny Ainge, the man they love to hate. This is when it all started. It was between the Hawks and the Celtics back in 1983. Ainge was setting up. He'd had a confrontation with Tree already. Rollins throws out the left elbow, and there's contact. Ainge went back out after him following this blow right here, and then he tackled the big fella right down to the floor. And during the fight that followed, Ainge had a hand up around the eyes, and when he lowered that hand, well, the tree took a bite out of it, and he bit him right down to the tendon. In fact, Ainge was showing me where the stitches were before this game. And do you know how many people really think that Ainge bit tree? It's amazing how many I run into who don't remember the incident very well. well. After looking at that, I don't know how many think about it, but I'm going to wear gloves around both of them. <laughs> Well, you think about the Boston Celtics, Billy, the rich could get richer. They're in the lottery. They could wind up with the first pick overall. And Red Arback told us that he would go for North Carolina center Brad Doherty if he won that lottery. Told us that before the game. Miller Light MVP player here, and the winner will be multiple sclerosis. That society will receive a check for $1,000 in that player's name. Speaking about the upcoming lottery in the NBA draft, I see the familiar figure of John Sally watching the activity here this afternoon in Boston. He figures to go high in the first round. What'd you say, Brent? Uh, uh, Join the action here <laughs> the Boston Garden. <laughs> oh, who's going to be in a first round draft choice? <laughs> oh, oh, do gosh. you do? All right.